Okay, so as I promised in the Voxy video, just to show you how, if you don't have topography data of your area, how you can actually get it in Geosoft. And so this tab up at the top that says Seek Data, click on it and then go to Seeker. It may just take a little bit of time to open up. Okay, and so this is what the Seeker window looks like. You can either do a text search or put your um, lat long values in, or in the icon menu bar here you could actually click on zoom in zoom out you could draw your area of interest this one here expand area of interest to full map or load area of interest so I just find it easiest to draw mine I'm going to draw it over the eastern side of South Africa and obviously the larger your area the more difficult it, well the, not the more difficult just the longer it's going to take to download you can see it's put in my lat long values here and now you click on top here on results and you'll see at this point here it's going to double check that you actually connected to Geosoft so if it says here disconnected just click on it and a window will come up where you can put your username and password username should be your email and here it shows you there's SRTM data so SRTM stands for shuttle radar tomographic data topographic data so this is topography data uh, I can't really remember the resolution. I think if we click here, it shows us. If you click for Africa, it tells you it's got it at 30 meters resolution. And for the world, it's at 90 meters. So I, I, I knew the 90 meters. I didn't know there was high res for South Africa. So obviously, I want as high res as possible. I just want to see under the world. There's lots of other um, data here. Gravity, magnetic, um, crustal data. So you can play around with that. But for now, let's do topographic. So I'm clicking on SRTM 30 meters and it often takes time to load or it shows you yeah here it is it shows you what it looks like and i'm going to go here and i'm going to click on download and so where exactly do i want to save it i'm going to go up here i actually have a folder that's called etopo data okay so in my geosoft folder i've got a folder that says etopo so i'm going to click ok and over here I'm going to select the data I want so in this list on the left click on it and it shows you the name of the data set the type of file you're going to get out do you want to download and open or just download what do you want to um, window window to area of interest coordinate system the original coordinate system and resolution the recommended one yeah I just keep stick with the default and then click on download all and it wants you to accept um, terms and conditions and you can see it's downloading and it'll download it to that folder and then you can go have a look at it and it's going to be a Geosoft grid so you can just easily load it into Geosoft like I said it might take a bit of time depending on how big it is that wasn't big at all um, mine should download and open so let's see what happens okay let's see if it's gone to the folder where I was recent places etopo okay and you can see looking at the most recent file in this folder is for today and so this is the grid file that's downloaded and the size one megabyte so not too big okay and so now I can just close this and so it has oh here it is it's downloaded it for me or it's loaded into GSF. you can see on the left hand side here under project explore it's loaded it obviously under grids and it's you can view it over here and it's just the region that I asked for just to better understand what the values are I can go up here to this group manager tool double click on the grid and you can see the color map that's being used um, it's keeping lower values for the blue so you can play around with your color tool if you want so we've got values of between if I put my mouse on this left hand color side it'll color bar sorry it'll draw lines and so we've got values of close to sea level going all the way up to over 2,000 meters which is around the Sutu which is this area here with the high topography. So yeah that's how you can get the top topographic data for your area.